it's always good seeing Zenimax making changes the best that they can for basic for their game. Basically, looking at the patch notes, one of the sets that I always liked running on Stam DK was Tava's Blessing, and it was most especially on a medium armor DK because one Stam DK on a Dragon Knight essentially you gain resources back whenever you use an ultimate. So Tava, of course. Whenever you roll dodged, you gain back uh, extra extra ult gen from it, which of course translates into more damage and translates into more resource management. So I ran this build. Uh, you know, most Magicka DKs ran it way back when you can utilize shuffle on with light armor, and then of course that kind of got nerfed, and that kind of got nerfed. But we see Tava did get a little bit of a change. Where is it? Tava did get a nice change here. It says this set now grants 12 ultimate over three seconds up from nine. And of course, an update to the tooltip. And so this makes Tava set a real, if you have an issue with resource manager uh, on a stam DK, even though typically you might not, but it allows you to pump out a lot more ultimate. So you can leap a lot more. You can use utilize Dawnbreaker a lot more or whatever ultimate it is, your ultimate of choice, especially for a medium armor build. I typically play mostly no CP just because Cyrodo was just way too laggy for me. And I had really enjoyed playing a variety of the builds. If you know, I've, re I've released tons of build. I mean, if I look back at my actual builds that I played, you can see that for the most part, I played a wide variety of different builds. Uh, and I basically played, played these for the, for the majority of a lot of the patches that were still relevant today. So one of my, one of my favorite was tavas and nocturnals blessing and the reason being i figure you know what since i'm gonna be roll dodging anyway to gain the benefits of tavas blessings i might as well also gain the benefit of another set and i oh and i paired that with nocturnals blessing which was a, another set this is this set now heals which got buffed it got buffed and it got changed it says it now gives you roughly ten thousand over five seconds with a five second cooldown instead of giving you 4,000 instantly but the two second cooldown. So that was the old set. So I figured typically you're roll dodging when you're acting defensively. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to be getting ultimate for when I roll dodge. And then if I'm in a defensive position where I'm roll dodging defensively to avoid ranged attacks, I wanted, and of course, typically it was because I was taking damage and it allowed me to save resources that I didn't need to utilize necessarily for healing but of course it required skillfully dodge rolling and this was a really good set uh, i played this on basically my nocturnal dk which was a build that i had released with gameplay i released quite a few different um, gameplays for this build and it was basically tava's favor and then i paired that of course with kina you can either pair that with kina or with balor for the extra weapon damage and then with flawless and it worked out it worked out great i really loved this is one of my one of my favorite builds that right around the time uh that they made changes to how wrecking blow worked and of course i utilized wrecking blow for the extra light attack damage really fun build lots of healing especially if i was actually um playing to this day i would probably st probably still utilizing especially because of the healing nerfs and if you're playing a medium armor dk typically going to need a lot of healing it kind of allows you to either use echoing vigor uh, or you can utilize e either morph and then either use poison injection or crushing weapon depending upon if you needed more healing or not so it's a really fun build really like to see that they've made some adjustments to some of these sets that are not necessarily utilized all that often i mean i, I really don't know a lot of people that utilize either nocturnal's favor i think originally you saw like a lot of pve um like sap essence night blades that used to utilize nocturnal's favor way back and then when that kind of skill when that kind of gameplay got nerfed uh, most people didn't utilize sets like nocturnal's favor i think there was another set um and i think it was also utilized for pve but you really don't need nocturnal's favor for pv for pv so it is though a really good set especially considering a lot of the healing nerfs healing nerfs and worth considering if you're still playing ESO, if you're looking for a stamp DK, I would definitely check out um, the Thomas Favor uh, Nocturnal's Blessing build that I put out. And of course, I'll leave that for you down in the description box. And I'll check you out next time. New World is coming out for their preview today. 
Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless.